subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss on how you can prepare for Google Professional Collaboration Engineer. The exam tests the skills of candidates in using tools, APIs, and programming languages for workflow automation. So let's get started. Here you can see the list of topics we are going to cover in this video. We will start with the basic information required to begin your preparation, and then move on to the study materials and important topics which will help you in your preparation. The Google Professional Collaboration Engineer is responsible for the transformation of business objectives, into tangible security practices, policies, and configurations. As they carry out these tasks, collaboration engineers have to take users, content, and various integrations into account. A GCP Professional Collaboration Engineer uses their comprehension of an organization's identity management and mail routing infrastructure for improving secure data access and communication. Target audience The foremost thing before Google Cloud Professional Cloud Collaboration Engineer certification preparation is finding the right fit of your skills with the required job role. The suitable audience for the Google Cloud Professional Collaboration Engineer certification exam is as follows. 1. Fresher graduates with interest in a Google Cloud Platform career. 2. On-premises IT systems administrators. 3. On-premise system engineers. 4. Cloud solution architects and application developers. 5. Aspiring DevOps professionals. Reasons to go for the exam. 1. First of all, AGCP certification gives visual proof of your capabilities for a particular job role to potential employers. 2. The GCP certification also ensures global recognition for the certificate holder and gives access to the wider GCP community. 3. GCP Certification's Present Validation For a candidate's thorough understanding of GCP products, technologies, and services. In the case of a professional collaboration engineer certification, the candidate's knowledge of G Suite receives validation. The GCP Certification, as a professional collaboration engineer, shows the dedication of an individual towards continuous learning and professional development. Interestingly, this is one of the foremost skills demanded by employers and potential candidates for various cloud-based IT jobs. Exam details. 1. Certification name is Google Cloud Certified Professional Collaboration Engineer. 2. Exam format is multiple choice and multiple select questions. 3. Exam duration is 2 hours. 4. Exam fee is $200, plus applicable taxes. 5. Validity is 2 years. 6. Exam language is English. Course outline. 1. Planning and implementation of G Suite authorization and access. 2. Management of user, resource and team drive life cycles. 3. Mail management. 4. Control and configuration of G Suite services. 5. Configuration and management of content access. 6. Configuration and management of endpoint access. 7. Monitoring organizational operations. 8. Promoting G Suite Adoption and Collaboration Now, let's see the average salary of a Google Cloud Professional Collaboration Engineer. The average Google Professional Collaboration Engineer salary, estimates could be easily one of the reasons to pursue relevant certification. The salary prospects associated with a particular job are generally the foremost reasons to drive demand for concerned job roles. The average estimate of Google Professional Collaboration Engineer salary, for one year is around $76,340 along with additional benefits. Now, let's discuss about preparatory guide. First, look at the exam objectives always. As we have already discussed, exam objectives form a crucial part of your success in GCP certification exams. The exam objectives and the underlying topics associated with each objective could inform candidates adequately about the ideal choice of learning materials. Second, training course. Professional training courses are mandatory for the preparation. Third, Dive into hands-on labs. As you must know by now, this exam evaluates candidates on performance-based tasks. So, candidates have to focus excessively on hands-on practice. Fourth, locating the right learning resources. Candidates should also focus on idea learning materials and resources for the preparation. The best practice would be relying on Google Cloud for official and credible learning resources. Lastly, don't forget that practice tests are crucial. Practice tests are very crucial in helping candidates find out their strengths and weaknesses in the exam topics. Most important of all, the practice tests show a clear and true impression of a candidate's preparation. You can refer test prep training for the same. 
For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.